Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing okay. I just want to start off this video to say thank you because I have hit 800 subscribers. My goal at the start of August was to hit 800 subscribers by the end of August. Yes, I am filming this on the 1st of September. Yes, this is probably going to go up in a couple of days into September. But I, people, hit 800 subscribers by the end of August. And I, it, I actually looked this morning and it shot up to uh, 805. So those five people, I don't know who, who you are, but make, you, make yourself known in the comments and say hello to me so I can say hello to you back. Not just you five, but 805 of you. And I am bringing you a Poundland haul. Yes, I was at work today. Yes, it was payday. So I decided to buy some stuff. Um, got two bags, and yes, one of these items contains a piece. Well, is a piece of furniture. So I am that person who buys his furniture from Poundland. Not slating it, but yes, you always get that one person. And I'm going to start off with that item, although it's not actually from Poundland. Well, it is, but it's a table. I got this from the Pep and Co Home section. Um, it came in a couple of weeks. If you, if you don't know, uh, I do actually work for Poundland uh, uh, in their Pep and Co clothing uh, area um, and Pep and Co homeware. So, look at this table. It's fantastic. So this came in a couple of uh, last week, and I've seen it. So I was like, "Oh, that's nice." And ever since, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So, I bought it. This is ten pounds. Uh, and it's like proper wood wood, like real wood, not like paper wood. It's like, I'm not going to open it now because I can't be bothered. It's already hot in there and it's flat pack. And I don't do well with flat pack furniture, even though uh, you probably have to put three screws in each leg. I am going to do that now because I'm that lazy. So that's what it looks like. It's a table. That's the uh, size of the um, tabletop. And that was £10. I can't wait to put this up. And yes, I know I keep teasing you uh, with a kitchen revamp, but this is for my living room revamp. I haven't even got to my kitchen revamp yet, and I'm already pl planning my living room revamp. And yes, I still have not done my kitchen. So you guys really need to keep reminding me. Keep on my case. Keep like having a go at me until I do it because seriously, I am that lazy. I've got all the stuff in my bedroom, like it's getting in the way. Seriously, why aren't why haven't I done talking about that? Oh my god, I well, I started this revamping thing with my bedroom. I love doing that video, and that was in January. I realized this a couple of days back when I was like looking for something on Instagram. I've done that uh, bedroom revamp in January. I'm sorry, but it feels like I've done that last month. It is now September. Where is this year going? It's gone past. And I've been speaking about nearly four minutes. And all I've pulled out is a table. So, shall we get carry on with the haul? It was the 1st of, uh, 1st of December. 1st of September, just hands alert. I don't know. Oh, yeah, my no hyper. Um, so... I forgot what I was going to say. September 1st, September, we launched Halloween. So, I got a pumpkin mug. This was one pound. I got another one as well. So, I got two pumpkin mugs. I am actually thinking about, like, if they're big enough, using it for my eye brushes, like, as a little display. Uh, then, I got this, like, flower arrangement thing in a pumpkin and it's like ceramic these are ceramic as well ceramic is that what they're made of ceramic ceramic like clay glass um so this is five pounds for a floral arrangement in a pumpkin they had a cauldron as well but i like the pumpkin so this could either it, it even go on my table i've just bought can't wait to like pimp my room out but yeah, I thought it was ever so pretty. And it's quite large as well. It's like as big as my head. Five pounds. So then I bought a couple of um, vanity items. I bought deep cleansing tea tree witch hazel nose strip things. 
uh, that was a pound, and a face mask, and it's not jelly. So this is a high, hy- hyaluronic acid, hydro hydro gel face mask, uh, and yeah, it's like it's not jelly in size. Anything with a novelty factor on it, I'm buying it. So this jelly mask thing here, I don't know what it does. It probably won't do anything. But it's just like satisfying to move around. So it was a pound. I bought my sister one a while back. Uh, I think it was for Christmas or something. Or maybe I just bought it. I um, don't know what the feedback was. If she gave me any. But I bought one. So yeah. Then I bought some undercrackers. You don't really want to see them, but bought some undercrackers. Then, uh, oh my god, I didn't know we actually sold these. I was just like whizzing around and seeing them. I was like, I've got to buy these. These are the Crave sticks. I love Crave cereal, and now these are in stick form. I don't know if I mentioned it on this channel before, but I've bought these from B&M. And they are freaking amazing. If you haven't tried them, please go and try them. They are addictive. I could happily eat a whole box. And because I knew I could happily eat a whole box, I bought two boxes. And they are £1.50 each. And they're worth every penny because they are amazing. So, next, I bought... Uh, I got a little niece coming. So, I bought her some uh, sleep suits. So I bought these soft touch sleep suits. This is a pack of two. These are four ninety nine from Pep and Co. One is like a soft pink and it's got rainbows on, so she knows it's from her rainbow soul uncle. Uh, and unicorns on the white one. Then I bought this one. These was actually in the sale. So I got a catacorn pink one. Uh, these were two pound fifty for a pack of two, and you've got a white one with dinosaurs and unicorns on because girls can wear dinosaurs too. They aren't just for the boys. So that's the patterns from them. Uh, okay, I'll be bringing these with you. Don't know if you're going to watch this video before I pass these on to you because I'll be seeing you tomorrow. So, yes, I'm going to go to the Birmingham Football Play Days to spend some time with the family. So, uh, I thought I'd take these along for the journey. And, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, don't know what else I'm going to say, so I'm just going to put these down and carry on. So, I've already worn these, but these are jeans. These are from the Pep & Co. Women's. They are the most comfiest jeans I own. I love them. Yes, they are a bit creased because they just came out of the wash. But I wanted to show them in this haul because, oh my God, these are the best, comfiest, perfectly fitted, actually. Not perfectly, and I'll get to it why. But these are just great jeans. I bought them in a 22. If you're going to buy them, which I stress that you go and get a pair, um, size down. Uh, because those women's sizes, I just went for the biggest one. Uh, but they are so stretchy and comfy. And yes, they are stretchy, but they do not lose the shape. They are great. You keep moving. So they are fantastic jeans, and that was only £12. I really want to get another pair, so I'm really hoping we get more in because I eat like um, my friend Becky, she came in and I was talking to her and she's seen these. She's like, oh, they're nice. And I convinced her to buy a pair because I, do, I was actually wearing them at the time. You can do lunges in them and everything. They're perfect for working. Um, she bought a pair. She went home. She tried them on. She messaged me saying, yes, they are a tad too big. So that wasn't an issue for her, but she actually came back in to buy another pair in her size. So that's how nice they are. Did I talk way too long about a pair of jeans? That's because you need to go and get a pair. Okay, I'm moving on. So I came to another mug. This is a cauldron with stars and moons on. I love it. Again, I thought I'm going to display my brushes in it or even put my beauty blender, like beauty sponges in because I put them down on the table and they'll roll off and then they hit the floor and it's covered in like fluff. Then I have to wash it again. You keep moving. 
Excuse me. So, uh, then, you know what? This is so weird. I'm currently revamping my background, and I was decluttering makeup. And I came across a, uh, a highlight I bought about three to four years ago. I love it because it had a skull on it. And if you know me, I'm, a, I'm a obsessed with skulls. I love them. Uh, and this highlight is from Revolution. And they didn't bring it back. And because I, I had it for so long, I was like, I'm going to have to kiss goodbye to it because it's crusty, crusty and funky. And I don't even think it's safe to put my face. So I was like, I had to kiss goodbye to it. And then I went into work the next day. And I only bloody found it. Um, so yes, this is the Haunted Light. Uh, one pound, and you get a lipstick as well. I'm not going to open the lipstick, but I'm going to keep the uh, highlighter. Because uh, you get two, two items for a pound. Bargain. I'm going to keep the highlighter for myself, and I am going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, maybe for 800. So, I don't know whether to include it, or hold on to it to do it like a different giveaway further on i don't know give me some ideas uh, but yes this is the highlighter it is amazing it's got like a green shift to it so i'm excited that i actually found well i wasn't actually looking for it i knew because i knew revolution didn't sell it anymore on the website or in stores because it was a halloween collection one for from about three four years ago uh yes i'll probably re bring it out this year but I wasn't, like, purposely looking for it. But when I found it, I was like, you know what? It's a pound. And I get, get a little lipstick with it. So, yes. Looking Poundland for branded makeup. And then, last but not least, last two items. I am going to be doing a DIY crafty video, which involves paint. So, I've picked up this acrylic white in shade 011 an acrylic pack of six and you got yellow red blue brown black and white and you know what before i seen these uh, this one i was like i'll pick up white i need to make brown so how do you make brown i was like maybe you just like put yellow in it so i picked up yellow and i was like mm, don't think that's going to work so i picked up black and I was like, black, white, and yellow, does that make brown? And honestly, I spent far too long trying to figure out how to make brown in my head. I was like, surely I was taught that in like primary school. And then I noticed there was a packet right in front of me with a brown in it. So I'm just going to use that brown, mix it with this, and make it into a light brown. So that was a story that you didn't really need to know. But I'm going to be doing a DIY crafty video soon, so look out for that, because I'm excited. And, uh, oh, sorry, the uh, paints, this one was £3, and that was a pound. Uh, the Poundland have actually got a huge range of DIY uh, paints and acrylics and, like, boards and other things you use for painting. Uh, so, if you are a painter, if, if you're a crafter, if you like to get crafting, have a look in Poundland, because they've got a huge range. Um, that is everything that I've got. And yes, so I'm going to draw this video to an end. Just want to say a huge thank you again. I could not get this far without you, even though I'll probably still make making videos, even if I had the half of the amount of subscribers I do now, because I just, it, I do it because I love making videos and it's an output of my emotions as well. So I have done like several other videos where I've used it as an output for my emotions, so I know that actually works for me. Uh, but yes, thank you. You all mean that to me, so thank you. Uh, and that is it. So, again, thank you for watching. I hope to see you all in my next video. It's a goodbye from me, Matt. Goodbye from Rainbow Soul, and stay sassy.